guys welcome to another video today we are going to learn about the ssd1331 which is a colored display it offers 65000 different colors and today we are going to learn about how to connect this one with an arduino and codes and program the arduino to work with this so if we talk about the pin numbering uh, the first pin is ground the second one is vcc the first one ground to the ground of Arduino and VCC to the 5 volts or 3.3 volts. This module supports both 5 volts as well as 3.3 volts. Next one is SCL. Actually, this one is not uh, the I squared C pins, rather, this one is clock and this one is mozi. These were wrongly printed. And the third one is a uh, reset RES. And the fourth one is DC and five, fifth one is chip select or CS. Okay, so the clock pin or the orange wire will go to the D13 as you can see here. And the next one is the mozi or the yellow pin will go to D11. You can see here. or then the SDA or corrected if uh, or the mozi pin which one is the yellow pin will go to D11 next up here the green pin or the reset pin will go to D9 this one this one here as you can see the next one dc okay last but not the least the cs pin or the chip select pin which which will go to the d10 of the arduino so the schematic is done now let's connect our arduino using a usb cable to our computer and let's see how to program this so let's get to the computer screen okay guys now we are here at our computer screens First of all, we have to include our library. So just click on sketch, include library, then go to manage libraries. Okay, so in the search option, we have to type SSD1331. As you can see, at a fruit SSD1331 OLED driver library for Arduino. This one is already installed because I have installed it earlier. Now we need another library also, which is Adafruit GFX library. Just type on GFX. As you can see, this one is also installed Adafruit GFX library by Adafruit version 1.2.7. This one is latest today. So everything is installed. Just now cut it. Now we have to go to files, examples then scroll to the last and you will find adafruit ssd1331 oled driver now we are we have to select our test code then you can see this one is all is this is a test code as if i scroll down here we have defined SCLK as pin 13, MOSI as 11, chip select as 10, reset as 9 and DC as 8. As we did in the schematics. Now here we have defined our colors like black as 0 and white as FFF. These one are hexadecimal values. They range from 0 to F and total have a 16 values. Then in the setup function as we have printed uh, hello with serial monitor whenever we are going to program our Arduino using this uh, then we can check our serial monitor also for that. This code is quite simple using the GFX library so this is very easy to read and understand. You can read and understand that by your own. Okay so without wasting time let us upload it. Just select Arduino Nano, then at Mega328P and click on upload. 
so let's see what is uploaded on our board has been programmed let me show you how this is going to work when i press the reset button here you can see so you can see the different colors out there and all the different designs which are provided in the example sketch of the ssd1331 library by combining the arduino gfx and the ssd1331 library we can get different designs over here we can also design uh, that such games like parker which you might have seen in my videos so guys suggest me what type of project do you want to see on this colored display if you have any different ideas or something please give your valuable comments in the comment box i would like to hear from you what type of projects do you want with this display if you have any other idea for any other module or any other thing you can comment that also okay this was it thank you guys and have a nice day